Today we are making Saint-Tropez cocktail. My name is Tal and I'm here with Chic.tv and with the beverage director of the Tour de France group, Aviram Tourjaman. Hello. We are here at Nice Matin, one of our beautiful restaurants. Well, to start we take about uh, eight mint leaves. Uh, I remove the stems carefully and choose nice ones, just so the stems don't impart bitterness into the drink. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, one ounce of uh, simple syrup. And we're gonna muddle the mint to infuse the flavor into the liquid. Oh, I love the Can I help you? Oh, of course, please. Thank you. It smells great <laughs> already. <Mint is> <laughs> the mint is fresh. Definitely fresh. We're gonna shake the excess mint from the muddler. We're gonna add uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. We're gonna add uh, one ounce of uh, Clement White, which is a Martinique rum that's made from uh, free run sugarcane juice and has a lot of character to it. We're also gonna add uh, three quarters of an ounce of Clement VSOP, which is uh, the same one, only with uh, some age and more smoky and caramelly notes. Uh, it's in the shaker. Go ahead, please. Oh, wow. I think that's fine. Yeah, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, strain it into the glass. Always get the last drop. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It smells nice and minty. Yeah, it does. Oh, nice color. And finally, we're going to top it up with the passion fruit foam or espuma that we make here from passion fruit puree and some other ingredients. Wow. <laughs> and Makes it look like a dessert. <laughs> To top that up, we're gonna do a dash of uh, Angostura bitters, traditional bitters, to give it a little, a little more of a Caribbean twist. And here you have it, Santo Ope. It looks beautiful. Wait, Thank do you. I need a straw for this, or should I just... Uh, we actually recommend the guests to have it without the straw to drink through the foam, because it has a nice effect. You get uh, all the mintiness oh, through the passion beautiful. fruit. Okay. Cheers.